anyways, so the CNN's covering it because Don's a queen. He knows all about it. Okay, this is amazing. Don Lemon <laughs> brings up the need for slave reparations from the royal family. He brings this up as he's interviewing a woman who's from, you know, England. It would be like, uh, you know, Obama getting shot. And uh, me going, yeah, well, you know what? He grew up with Marxists, and uh, he tried to fuck up our country. Show some respect, Don. Here is Don. Well, that's the pose everybody knows him from. <laughs> He's waiting for a fucking gob of Hellman's to land on that dirty tongue of his that he just pulled from the ass of a 12-year-old Cub Scout. <laughs> Leave that in. That should go on, okay? I'm serious. That's the type of shit I want out there. His guest... Royal commentator Hillary Fordwich. I say there, Hillary, how are you today? Mm, land ahoy. <laughs> Hillary Fordwich says, yes, people should be demanding reparations from the African leaders who sold them into slavery. Watch how she lays this out. Don think, Don's like, oh boy, did I just, yeah, yeah. yeah I just, I just, I, I just destroyed her with this. And he gets, well, I think that was his mouth after she, <laughs> She bitch slapped him with, with knowledge and facts that he's never heard. And that's the problem, by the way. People like Don Lamont, nobody's ever told them the truth. And they don't want to know. You think he learned that in college? He probably went to Jackson State or Howard. Whatever. I assume that, just to be racist. But the lady with the pearl necklace, no, 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 said the eight-year-old Nick DiPaolo. Um, watch... <laughs> Apparently, she was good friends with, uh, I don't know, watch her school, Don Lamont. Is he sleeping right there or getting blown? Uh, <laughs> let's, let's listen to her teach Don a history uh, lesson about slavery. The public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate <laughs> concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? Africa. That was in Africa. And when across the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first uh, nation in the world Iran? to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, Why? in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery Look at why because the african kings were rounding up their own people they had them on cages waiting in the beaches no one was running into africa to get them and i think you're totally right if reparations need to be paid we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages absolutely that's where they should start and maybe i don't know the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery that those families should receive something too i think at the same time <laughs> it's an interesting discussion Hillary. yeah Thank it you. is yeah get off the air listen your mom goes to college <laughs> Uh, ah, the homosexuals. <laughs> hey, Don, you got knocked the fuck out. And again, it's priceless to see a brainwashed minority, a CNN, face of CNN, because he's never heard the truth in his life, whether it was in college, around his, he's because he's surrounded by like-minded people when he's at CNN and in the summertime when he's in the Hamptons, Blowing his life partner, Kevin O'Toole. What? Kev, I just made it up. I have no idea if he exists or not. Um, but, um, yeah, he's never heard the truth. I love how he ended it. Well, that's an interesting discussion. Yeah, because somebody else has a... There's two sides to the story. That's why it's interesting now. You've been chirping how it's all Whitey's fault. And 